Hey everyone, welcome to our product review for the Asus G703GX. Let's start off with some specs here. For the CPU, we have an Intel Core i9-8950HK processor. For the GPU, it's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 8GB. As far as memory goes, it's a 16GB DDR4 with 2,666MHz. That is upgradable to 128GB max. For storage, you're looking at 512GB PCIe NVMe SSD, that is also upgradable. For Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it's an Intel Wireless AC9560 that provides Wi-Fi speeds up to 1.7GB per second. 2.5GB Ethernet, Bluetooth 5.0. For the power supply unit, it comes with two 280W AC adapters. It's a built-in HD camera, a 17.3 inch full HD 144Hz NVIDIA G-Sync display, full keyboard, and heavy duty cooling with 12 volt fans and intelligent dual fan design. For the ports and exterior, on the left side there's a LAN port, a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port with Thunderbolt, a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port with Asus USB Charger Plus, a microphone jack, and an audio jack. On the right side there is an SD card reader and two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. On the back side, there is two power inputs, a mini display port, and an HDMI 2.0A. The G703GX has a revised desktop inspired keyboard layout with a highlighted WASD key group for gamers and ergonomically curved keycaps for more comfortable typing. There is also an Aura RGB lighting technology so you can customize light effects right down to the individual keys. It's a keyboard that's designed for durability with a lifespan that is double the industry standard. Included in the box are two 280 watt AC adapters, the user manual, and the warranty card. The weight of the laptop is 10.4 pounds. For battery, it comes with a 96 watt hour 8 cell lithium ion battery and two 280 watt AC adapters. The G703GX has very nice onboard speakers. Two 2 watt tweeters deliver high frequency audio waves directly towards you, while two large 3 watt woofers in the chassis deliver superb bass. As far as fan levels go, you can change the fans from quiet mode to performance mode, so the noise levels for the fans can vary. A couple of benchmarks here. For the Fire Strike test, it scored 21,805, which is better than 96% of machines tested. For Cinebench score, it scored 1,493. And Superposition at 1080p medium scored 17,569. If you're looking to put a personal touch on your machine, be sure to check out our extensive customization options before checkout, including upgrades to the CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, cooling, overclocking, custom paint, hydro and graphic wraps, laser etching, and much, much more. As always, be sure to check out the product link in the description or leave any comments down below if you have any questions for us here at Exotic PC. This has been Dylan. Thanks for watching, and be sure to hit subscribe for future overviews and reviews.